The PSC reported that a total of 753 staff members were appointed in government in post below management, with 82% being promoted to positions below management in the Ministry of Health. Additionally, 77 staff members were promoted to post below management, of which 56 were in the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture. During the reporting year, the PSC also recommended 108 deviations on health financial assistance, of which 104 members were in life-threatening conditions such as cancer and kidney failure, among others. On management cadre posts, 89 staff members were promoted. They also reported that the negotiations between the government negotiation team and trade unions, Nantu and Napu, that resulted in a collective agreement that provides for salary adjustments and benefits improvement. The Public Service Commission, Your Excellency, has been a very important, has a very, very important mandate um, to ensure that the public servants, when employed, are coming through the system after they have obtained relevant qualifications and experiences that they should enter in enabling working environment. Therefore, the Commission has the mammoth task to constantly address compliance with employment. As Commission, our work does not stop when we have gone through recruitment and the person is now employed. But what happened after the employment? Did HR offices correctly capture the details of the person so employed? And whether the benefits like housing, transport, and other medical benefits are complied with, leave records, maternity issues, renumerative work outside employment, financial assistance on chronic issue, uh, diseases, the list are endless. Um, also, what follows after the person has been employed and has been sometimes in that position are the complaints, grievances, appeals, as well as misconducts. All these are issues we are dealt with on a daily operation of the Commission. The Commission also said that there are a number of non-compliance issues they are concerned about. These ranges from mismanagement of the recruitment process, leave management, misfiling of personal documents, and management of contract employment. The President expressed appreciation for the work performed by the Commission. We are comfortable with what you do, the work you perform is sometimes difficult, sometimes tedious, sometimes there are competitions that are very difficult to handle, but you handle them in a most professional way, and that is what we trust you to do. We trust you to do the very best. 